happy Sunday. Welcome back to another vlog. Just doing my cold brew this morning with a little bit of the Califia cookie butter creamer. So good. This has been like my go-to creamer recently and I love it. It's like the perfect light bit of sweetness. But I'm gonna finish up my coffee while getting some things done this morning. Y'all know how my Sundays go. We'll have a little bit of a Sunday reset, but I do have a busy day ahead because I wanna get things situated for work since I'll be out of town next week and I have to pack for my little trip home to Minnesota. Really excited to go home. I love the fall time back home in Minnesota and also I'm getting my hair done. So I'm really pumped about that before my gal leaves on maternity leave. And I'm like, I just need to get hair freshened up because it's been a while. Last time I got my hair done was back in January. So I'm looking forward to that appointment. I literally just made it yesterday, but I've been planning on going home for about a week now. My mom was like, please, please, please come home. I miss you. Like I need you home. And I was like, okay. I'll come home, twist my arm. Plus being home in the fall back up north is literally the best. I just love it. The weather, the breeze, like the crisp fall air, everything. So it'll be a good like reset and just fall week in my life back home in Minnesota. So I'll definitely vlog for you guys a bit while I'm up there. But today we're just gonna get some things done around the apartment while I finish up my coffee this morning and then go do some Pilates. I always do Pilates in my apartment gym with the Sammy Form or Sam Clark Form app. It's a great way to like mindfully move my body, but nothing too strenuous. And it just really feels good and I love it. So that's kind of the plan for today. <laughs> finished up my workout this morning and I'm gonna get to cooking breakfast. This is such a good breakfast combo. I've been loving it recently. So I'll just do it scrambled eggs with some avocado on the side and then a yogurt parfait with peaches on top because they're in season and they're so good. Of course, I gotta top it with some cinnamon, absolutely essential. And I love to use this pre with granola, it's so good. Just finishing getting ready, putting on all of my jewelry, of course. But I wanted to show you guys some new pieces because I always get questions about the jewelry that I wear, where I get it and everything. And Ore is my favorite place to shop for my jewelry. It just came out with a new collection, the Lore by Ore collection, sold exclusively at Hellsberg Diamonds. So thank you Lore by Ore and Hellsberg Diamonds for sponsoring. I wanted to show you guys this ring. This might be one of my new favorite additions to my ring stack. It is absolutely stunning. And then I got a matching pearl necklace and bracelet. And then lastly, 
this necklace, which is so, so, so pretty. I thought this would be the perfect addition to my everyday necklace stack. I'm always wearing necklaces and rings. If you guys watch the vlogs, you know, but they just have like the most gorgeous jewelry pieces ever. And I love it because it's sold at a fair price and also it is sustainably sourced, founded by women. So we love Orate. And also you guys can shop these exclusive pieces, like I said, at Hellsberg Diamonds with the link down below. And also I was able to snag a discount code for you guys. So you can get 15% off your order with the code at Snyder15. Again, definitely be sure to check it out. I'm always on the hunt for quality jewelry, but nothing that is too ridiculously priced. And they have such good prices. And use my code at Snyder15 for extra 15% off. Honestly, nothing crazy with the outfit today. Just wanted to keep it simple since we're gonna be doing some filming. And then my hair is in a little claw clip moment, which I never do, but I'm kind of digging it. I like threw it up to get my hair out of my face for a sec. And then I'm gonna leave it because I'm, I'm digging it. Kind of a look, something new for me, okay? I just finished up filming and I got to Target. We're gonna run in, make it quick. I just have to get dry shampoo, gum. And there's one other thing. I'm trying to remember what was the other thing on my list. I don't know. Maybe some like travel dry shampoo or something. Oh, snacks for the plane. That's what I needed. Okay, so very quick Target run. Nothing too special, but then I think I actually might head to the vitamin shop after too. So out and about, run in a couple of errands, and then we'll get back home and get to packing because this day is getting away from me and I'm like, I still have so much to do, so much to get done, so let's go. gonna get to packing now. I'm gonna grab my suitcase and everything. I keep my suitcase in this closet with like pretty much all of my winter stuff too. I'm gonna start by packing just like the most simple and basic things first. So I'll do all of like my workout sets, pajamas, bras, underwear, socks, all of that. And then I'll get to figuring out what I'm gonna wear while I'm home and different cute fall outfits. So I feel like that'll probably take me the longest. Before I get to packing my outfits, I need to figure out what the weather is going to be like so I know what I'm working with. Okay, so it's going to be like low 70s, so that's probably jeans, t-shirt, light jackets, like sweaters, that kind of vibe. So yay, perfect fall weather. I'm glad that the weather is not going to be rainy or anything. It's like the perfect sunny week. Yay. I decided my plan of attack for packing is going to be just pulling a bunch of fall pieces from my closet and kind of seeing what I can work with. But I'm gonna just start by pulling a bunch of pieces and then throwing together some different outfits that I could create. But I definitely wanna bring this home. I got a bunch of things from Zara for the end of the season last year that I still haven't even worn yet because obviously I had no use for them. They're so cute. Like I definitely wanna bring this vest home. And I think this would be super cute for a night out or something because obviously it'd be pretty chilly with some like light colored jeans. And then of course a cardigan. Definitely gonna be loading up though on the sweatshirts because that's pretty much like all I wear at home is just like leggings and sweatshirts and some sweatpants. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. I have this super cute skirt, which should be fun for the fall outfit. Cause I wanna pack things that I can like take photos in and create content with, but also outfits that are reasonable, you know, like outfits that I would generally wear while I'm home, even though I probably won't be like getting ready too often. I know I'm a chronic overpacker. You don't have to tell me twice, but this is pretty much everything that I'm bringing. And then we got my shoes and some more basic tops over here. This is all lighter stuff, which is nice. And everything will be able to cram into packing cubes. Thank God for packing cubes because it just helps condense everything. The only problem is definitely gonna be weight. So I'm gonna put some pieces into my roller bag, but probably the pants, cause these are quite heavy. And then obviously jacket and shoes. We're gonna try to put as much as possible into the roller bag. Other than that, everything will go right into the suitcase.
I'm gonna get into packing all of my makeup and skincare right now because tomorrow I won't need any of my makeup. So just start with all of that. I try to bring as many travel size friendly like skincare products as much as possible. It's kind of hard considering I'm a freak about my skincare regimen, but if I can, I always try my best. Like I have these small drunk elephant travel size like retinol creams that I'll bring, some moisturizers. I have their travel size cleanser, which is nice, even though my esthetician told me to stop using this. It has pore clogging ingredients, so I've been using a different one from the Inky List, but when I can, I do try to bring like the travel size products because obviously it helps with weight and also I can pack it in my carry-on if need be. I just finished packing everything up and to my surprise, I didn't even end up filling the suitcase up or the carry-on. So I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I know I'm not. Obviously I have all of my carry-on stuff that I have to pack, but I'll do that Tuesday morning before I leave. But yeah, it looks like so much more when I had it all laid out. And also it's not even that heavy, so that's good. But last time I traveled home, my suitcase was 49 pounds. So I don't know why it feels like so much less this time. Obviously I just freshened up. I did a much needed hair mask and hair shampoo detox because I just had like so much product in my hair. You know when you can just like feel it, I had dry texture spray, hair spray, heat protectant, like all of that was just built up in my scalp and in my hair. So I wanted to do a good old detox on the hair. And now we're doing a face mask. This is the Ordinary AHA and BHA mask, the one that literally stings so badly, but we need it. We just need to give that skin some life. My breakouts have definitely been getting better. I just got like one right here the other day. So I'm kind of targeting those. That's all we're doing for skincare right now. So I'm gonna let this sit for like 10 minutes, let my hair air dry, just watch a little bit of YouTube and start to wind down for the night. 